Hey there, welcome back to Reddit XO, the best channel for Reddit cheating stories. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification for more stories like these. Now, let's get into the video. Wife moving out for six mo so both parties can heal. Due to infidelity in the form of a ONS with a complete stranger, we have not been able to overcome the pain. On my part, I had no motivation or wish to cheat or ruin our marriage prior to that moment. My wife and the counselor admit the women knew what she was doing, but that doesn't absolve me got three years later, two years of counseling, two marriage conferences, and one specializing in fidelity later, and we are separating. I've been studying her so that I can better support her in grief. This called for a good deal of self-improvement work, change career to more stable hours. It is hard to humble yourself with a grieving spouse so our job is to be as strong as possible. This year she just got tired of fighting the pain. I felt it slowly moving away yet yearning for me. Beginning of December, she had a personal crisis. She realized that everyone else her age is desperate to achieve what she has. Beautiful kids, new career, great home, and devoted. Husband. She's wildly attracted to me and she says that's part of the problem. She feels she can't make proper decisions or justify any of the choices she's made because she doesn't know if it's her or her emotions. She wants to see things objectively. This recent grief spell lasted all month and culminated in an all-day fight over me taking my wedding ring up for a bath and leaving it off for a few days. I lost it that night and destroyed some furniture I hated in our house. I'm never like that and it scared me. We talked later the next day and she admitted to having no real complaints of me as a husband over the last years. Crying she told me I don't deserve this and any woman would be happy to have me. It hurts because I just want her and I know I hurt her again with my words. She decided she needs to leave because no one deserves constant fighting. She wants to separate emotionally so she can reflect on her life and work through things. She never really got a chance to process anything before. She forgave me way too quickly in my opinion, which I voiced at the time. She wants to find herself again like she was when we first got together. She once loved being a mom until D-Day and now it's a chore. She avoids coming home because it's too much so she threw herself into work and social activities in late nights. So she decided to move to an apartment close enough to work and home to make kid commutes easy. The lease is for six mo which should be enough time to get enough emotional space for me to have an objective view of our relationship. She admits she has mental and emotional issues so brought on by me some there from before. I support this 100% as I'm tired of the turmoil. I want a peaceful life. When we fight, I don't like the person I become. It's gotten too normal. I'm confused because she says she needs to avoid me until she leaves. Yet she so calls. She comes to me eventually when I'm home. She says she can't be around me and is nervous to stay home when I'm home. Yet she keeps telling me how turned on she is by me. How she can't trust herself around me. I am respecting her wishes and trying to be a gentleman. She spent all day telling me it's uncomfortable to see me in the house. So I stayed late at work then came home, changed and went for the basement. Eventually she came down and spent two HRS talking. I don't think the convo was particularly productive, but it was nice and level-headed. Tonight's nigh and we decided to keep our plans. We've been looking forward to this party and getting all fancy for months. She wants to make sure that wherever we eat dinner it's not romantic or fancy. She called and told me all she'd been thinking about is how nervous she is to drink and be alone with me. I guess she saw me dressing yesterday and thinks she's ovulating, right? I suggested we make it an early night, not drink too much get home, and go to our separate rooms to sleep. Honestly, I'm trying to respect her but she unreliable right now. Here's what's plaguing my mind on the separation. Right now dating is off the table between us, per her request. It was odd that she offered me to not wait for her. Basically, she feels bad for leaving me alone for six mo. She said if I'm out and I meet a nice girl to take care of myself. I declined and said we might as well divorce. I asked her what she wants and I got a few different answers before she agreed with me, but I think the gist was. If she commits to dating me, what's the point? If she commits to coming back after six mo, what's the point? If she commits to not even entertaining dinner date, that in her head she's still under me. I don't get it. But I do. Any suggestions welcome. Update 1. It's been a long day of talking, but I still need to vent. I made a post a few days ago about our decided trial separation. It has been amicable and I was excited to get the home in order while she's away. We decided my lifestyle and attention to our kids, it would be best for me to stay home. I was. 
contacted early last night and had very revealing conversation with a strange woman who is the girlfriend of 14 years of the other man. In fact, all of my wife's ideas about finding herself and getting away from the pain of my ONS I had three years ago prior. I have really been patient with her late-night antics and generally do as she pleases attitude while telling me I'm not courting her enough. I was blind in my own efforts to step up as a family man and build this family up from the ashes of my drunken one-night choice. Turns out through the last two months, she has been contacting and seeing this guy. She admitted one night she fully intended to have sex with him but got too drunk and passed out. The part that gets me is in explaining our decision to let her move out to find healing and her true self everyone, both parents and a few close friends, all asked if I thought it was an affair. I finally asked her, and she made me feel like the hugest for being the one who cheated to then accuse. Her, I felt terrible, but I explained the circumstances required I ask at least once. I defended her to everyone from then on. Both her parents called me begging me to explain why she was leaving if I'm such a great dad and husband as of last few years. It did not up. I defended her all the way up until this afternoon. Before her parents left tonight, they asked her to come back home and not stay at her apartment she just signed a six mo lease for. I asked if she wanted to still be married to me. She quickly answers yes. I asked how could she say she loved me and have done the things she did to my face. New Year's Eve we went on one last date. Via all the text I know see she also was sending him pictures. Her fist text Christmas morning was to him. She made love to me nine night of her own intent as I thought that was off the table for the beginning of our separation. She made a post of Facebook professing her forever love to me while still carrying on this affair. After her parents left, I explained all of this and how she or I couldn't possibly love someone and do that of sober mind for almost two weeks and simultaneously telling her husband he isn't trying hard enough, which I am and both sides of our family agree on that. I'm not perfect, but I've been trying. She admitted that she loves me but not in love with me, and it's been that way for quite some time. I can't compete with that. Out of everything, that's the part that scares me the most. This guy is a loser. Not a banker, not an accountant, but a maintenance guy. A regular at her side job bar. His girlfriend told me he sits there 365 days a year. Drinking from 5-10 p.m., then goes home and wets the bed. He is about 10 to 15 years older. Has no prospects and is ugly compared to me. I don't want to toot my horn, but I'm in shape, handsome, great complexio very personable and I have a 65 good job. I'm a dedicated father and learning as I go to be handy around my house. If I want to get a date with her I have to plan babysitters and take her downtown or somewhere special for a fancy night. This guy just sat at the bar and handed her a couple of compliments and had her completely. Even her own father pointed that out tonight. Her friends glance at me every so often and make comments about how great it would be to be with me but in a respectful way. She's told me about how when I come to her works people who didn't know I was her husband would comment on the hot guy. I'm not trying to toot my horn, but that hurts the most. He got her for nothing. I pay for the first night in her hotel, that's how much I appointed her doing what she needed to do to heal. I see now she spent that night crying about me and texting him. This guy just doesn't stand up to me in any way. I could take her back. I'm also no idiot. If she isn't in love with me then she is a liability. She has always been a passionate lover. Even her best friend told me today that she has always said, I only have eyes for him for all the years we have been together. She couldn't and wouldn't believe what I told her until we read the text. She told me if she had an affair my wife would have been the first to know because they go back to childhood. She said the girl she knows would not be able to do something like that. I can forgive and I can forget, but if having her around may be a liability. For loving me but not being in love, makes her constantly vulnerable. It's the liability part that will if not resolved be the ending factor. The reason I haven't went typical me scorched earth is that I have come to understand some things about us. I'm tied to her regardless if we divorce because of kids. We have extreme chemistry and I do know she is drawn to me otherwise why would she go to such great lengths to bed me during her affair and during a period she had said no emotional contact. Or it was a setup to pawn some STD off on me and blame three years ago on its emergence. Problem is I went and had a full panel blood test done after my ONS. All negative. The reason I have this theory is she told me two or three days ago she's worried about some vaginal issue and said it may have something to do with me cheating all those years back and did I ever get tested. 
and did I read the full results. Update 2. I have informed wife and family my decision on divorce will come when I have all of the info including watching her actions post D-Day until satisfied. I need a clear picture of her. I'm worried I shouldn't even consider taking her back. She pulled this off marvelously on me. I'm a vigilant person and rarely get surprised. The fact that I was already prepared for the call I got and had been for almost a year's is telling. I haven't even cried or freaked out. Honestly, my first concern was calling her dad as I was concerned for her safety and he has some experience in these areas. Next, I picked my kids up from daycare and took them to my parents with instructions not to release them to anyone but me and her parents. Then I called both parents to inform them of my taking the kids and letting them know why. They agreed to meet at my house and we talked. Later, wife called her dad and he put her on speaker so I could hear. She was so sobbing and hating herself and saying she doesn't know who she was. It's like he was talking her off a ledge. I needed to hear it. Smart man. She's scared to talk to me because she knows I do not tolerate or give second chances. Anyways, she been open and honest. I saved the reading of all the evidence and texts the other man's GF sent me for today. After work I sat down and read them like a novel. A month's worth of attention-seeking and push-pull dynamics. She's over-texting him getting little response. She gets cold feet and rejects him and he starts actively texting her. I started having questions and began texting her about details and she answered. Then she came home and sat down and said I might as well save you the screenshots. Ask me whatever you want, but like we learned when you did this there isn't anything else in there you don't already know only more pain, but she answered my questions regardless. I know that but I needed her to be open and say things she knew might offend me. Past she quit her bar job which I required and to consider the staff patrons and whole lot dead to her. She's looking for a therapist. Even though I have always maintained it's half her house she asked if I'm still okay with her coming home. It is to get her priority back on the kids and find her herself in the family. She knows on actions over words guy, so she's not talking much fluff. She did apologize today. Said she waited because the day of would be too soon and she wasn't sure what exactly she should apologize for. That I can understand. I'm allowing her to choose paths of leaving back to her new apartment and never looking back again. Of course no one's going to take her kids, but honestly I could win custody on a few accounts. She probably wouldn't fight unless urges to buy family. But I made it clear continuing on with the separation I would file for divorce anyway, I haven't gotten mad outwardly. I don't think I even cried. I deaf felt my stomach touch my when I got the call. Then I went into action mode. It's like I expected it because of the job and the late hours, but I also blindly trusted her because of my guilt and how hardcore traditional values she is. I didn't think she was capable. I'm worried I'm taking this way too cool. Everyone is proud and praising me because I haven't set a foot wrong in this ordeal and kept a cool head and asked very pointed relevant questions. I'm sort of a slow burner. I'm worried I'm in shock or maybe I just don't care. I'm just handling it like a work problem or typical marital problem. Don't get me wrong, I'm disgusted by her. Consider her a liability to this family. Totally betrayed on so many levels and instances and chances to end it. Red flags galore including recent threats made good on by other man's GF which is ha. I found out. She ignored them all and tried to play a tot he end, even after blocking him a day before one did she really want to end it or was it damage control after GF found my name and threatened to tell me. The problem is she never came clean even when I asked her 3x, is there anything you want to tell me? Anything else? Then I dropped names and she started to call the woman crazy, then I dropped his name and she went silent. I told her I had it all. Her response was then I have nothing left to hide don't get me wrong, I was shaking mad, reading the text the first time, but I haven't even raised my voice once. Hash 2 where the F is my emotion guys, 